Hello and welcome back to S Recently here, Season 21 here for the Canadian Grand Prix here uh, with the Tier 3 grid on a Wednesday evening as usual here in the rainy British Isles where I'm setting at. But we are here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve here at Montreal for the final race of, of Canada here in STB. And we are looking for a great race here in Tier 3, hoping a lot better than Tier 2, which was uh, some questionable moments. Uh, but we'll hope to move on from that for Tier 3. Tier 3 never fails to deliver some decent races, so we'll go and hope with that. On board of Maldi, as he kind of cuts the corner, he can, he's got probably got damage from that as well. Mm. Uh, Callum is 10.4, which is rapid for Tier 3. He is absolutely a lead of his own. I'm just going for another lap here, we'll say I'm bored of him. It's the first time streaming, I have a brand new internet. Uh, a new hub, an upgraded hub. Of my Virgin Media internet connection, so i am gone from running 150 megabytes a second up to... Well, it says 600, but it reaches about 300 in my room, so... But it's all very, very solid. Never a doubt. Everyone is retired, I think it's everyone people's number two. It's high now. Callum, it's half a tenth down. I'm not surprised enough from a lap like that. I'm not surprised he's down. Can't see a delta, no delta on his wheel. Nintendo, that's his qualifying over. Retired at turn two. Failed to improve. Can't come through the second sector delta in just a second. He's a tenth and a half up. This could be into the point three here. He's going to get some slipstream off the Red Bull as well. So it's going to be some tasty moments for him. The yeah, eyes open down into this last chicane. Very, very tough to do. Very easy to validate it. He's absolutely nailed it. No curve and exit. Decides not to. Straight line to the line. It's a 10.3 in just about misses out the point twos, but that is one hell of a lap. Uh, there you go. I'm glad we got the most of it. We've got Kazari, who is a tenth up as well. Looking pretty good. New driver in for this week. I don't actually know what nationality is from. But he's looking pretty decent. He's hoping to pip Alpha. And he's backed out. Why is he back? He's run out of fuel. Is he run out of fuel? I don't know. It was a tenth and a half up if one to take the Delta. I'm confused. And he's tired, I don't know. Uh, come on, is he on that? I think he is. It says so. Yeah, he's, he's not on that. So, I think that's your qualifying done. Here. This is the final race of the week here in Tier 3. Hopefully, another good race as usual. But the qualifying is done here. A very, very, very rapid lap by the can I know the wheel has a, can have a bit of an advantage around here, but that is massive. Danger is also on the wheel, and I think McTendo is also on the wheel as well, but that is massive. He's just able to shut this track like the tier, other tier 3 drivers just unable to do. Obviously, Canada's a very tough track, especially push, especially trying to get that out every single bit out of the track. Uh, it's real driver's track, it's all about precision, especially with all these corner cuts you can probably get, which is another thing to watch out for, this is penalties. But here is your group with... Here's your grid for tonight. You've got Callum P1, Danger P2, Mactendo P3, Alpha P4, Kazari P5, is Argentinian, Pazza, uh, get five plays good penalty for collision with Juan early in the session. He'll be P he'll be down to P11. We have Calamon's P6, Memo P7, Red P8, Maldi P9, Distri P10, um, Calamon, I mean, Pazza P11, uh, Distri, I think Calamon, I think it'll be P10. It's P10 or P11, I can't remember. Uh, Distri P11 would be Moncho P12, Fernando P13. Uh, I couldn't think of a couldn't, couldn't see the rest. But yeah, that is your grid for tonight for Canada. Uh, the timings, uh, we had it on midday for like the last two, for the T1, T2, but uh, I was busy eating food while we were sitting at the lobby open. And, uh, well, it's not a biggie, Maldi's not too over the last anyway, but we had it on midday for T1, T2, but we've gone on official for today. But I don't think that's too much of a big deal. I think there should be some clouds coming in later in the race. So I think the clouds will get rid of those shadows. So 
Yeah, but you're good and dandy there. Uh, it's going to race doctor. It's the usual way. It never seems to work the first time. Yeah, cannon and pot. Everyone's selling hards. Hards it means is the better strategy, especially with everyone's on it. Only means only work if you're in clean air. If you're not in clean air, it's not worth it. The calories. You're going to lose a lot of time because those tyres are rapid towards the end of the race. Uh, so yeah, you've got Tekka's P14, Chaos P15, and Mastor P16, Sam P17, Rafita P18, and Juan P19. So that is your result. Some people on softs, which is very interesting. Some people on mediums, whether whether they think that's the right way to do it, or whether they'll gain some positions quickly. Otherwise, like I say, those mediums are second lap faster. Uh, yes, I feel very satisfying at the start, but then it happens in tier one. I did mediums and hards, and I just got held up behind a few cars and a train on the mediums. And then by the time I pitted at lap 14, I pitted with hards. Uh, I did spin, but nevertheless, the next car in front of me on, that was looking about on fresh mediums was three seconds. And then 50, 50, 14 laps later, that gap went from three and a half seconds to 18 and a half seconds. And it's not like my lap times were consistently in the high 13s the whole stint. Like, I did, the pace was on the whole tyre the whole way through. So those mediums are rapid, those are much quicker to be the end, they just seem to work in clean air when the space is opened up. Uh, Soft is not really raced hard, it only really lasts about 10 laps, 11 laps long. They kind of fall off quite quickly the lap times do. And the hards are just a bit slow, but they're, like I say, if you, can get, keep, if you can keep your pace up early in the race, they're quite good. And then get rid of those quickly, and then you get nice. The mediums probably is the best race tire. If you could do two stops, if you did have two sets of mediums, it would be a soft, medium, medium, because the hards is pretty slow. But unfortunately, you only have one set of mediums now, which is annoying. So you can't do the two stop because the hard, medium, soft is just too slow, because the hard is just too slow to do the two stop with. But the soft, medium, soft is just, the softs are useless. They just fall off too quickly. It's difficult to do two stop that way. Uh, as we've got two Mercedes 1 2 on the grid here. Danger on disqualified because it's going too slow to its grid slot. Uh, can't park it on pole position, hoping it doesn't get disqualified. Nintendo P3, Alpha P4, Kazai P5, Kalamaz P6, Mamma P7, PF, Red P8, Mandy P9, Diffy P10 disqualified for incorrectly parking these slots. Passer P11, Manjo P12, Mananda P13, Takers P14. Kyle's disqualified for parking grid in the wrong play in the wrong area again. Um, Astor P16, Sam P17, Rafita P18, Juan, come on to the slot now, down in P19. E-car starting on soft, which is very interesting. I know that the Spanish drivers do tend to like to be on the soft tyres. I know the lights are going off here. At Canada, we've had a glitch start. So we've had a few good starts this week, and it's the first time we've had a glitch start here. It's now lights out. Away we go. We've got Callum. He's got a bit of wheel spin, a lot of wheel spin. Actually, no, but Dengan has a terrible, terrible start. And Alphas is up the inside. s has got a fighting time penalty. What's going on here? It's been a tire ticket time penalty for Moncho. Uh, Moncho's now down in P16. I don't know what's going on here. You've got Calamans is down to P13. I don't know what's going on. There's been some sort of collision somewhere. Calamans is now losing position to Matador. He's now to put it back up the inside. My well, is actually one of the people still on the hard, which is why I think. If it wasn't people who doing soft, it would, be, it would have been uh, Matador. Normally one of those creating soft strategy. F and Red struggling as Tekkers is looking to find a way through. I think tyre temperatures is very crucial at the moment in time. There's lots of penalties been. been been sifted out here and looking to get some you know, the poor qualifying here. It's definitely got the pace to get some positions. Definitely just got pace for a good result today. Maybe not the definitely not, probably not the victory, but it's definitely a bit of a shove back from Red there. It definitely didn't give him Audi any room at all, but managing to get a good exit though. You see him with the overthink mood. And you're getting down the straights. F Red's not using any of his overtake. Maldi gets through. Might get that position. You need to keep it in DRS or Tekkers. Tekkers is already 1.7 seconds behind, 1.5 seconds behind. Can leads the way. Danger and Alpha side by side. Alpha's around the outside here, still fighting. A lap later, and Danger Man holds on to third place. And got some Bastion going at the back here. Got some passes going. I have Tari's having a bit of a battle. We've also got Moncho up the inside of Sant. And all Sant's been a tap with Memo. Memo's been uh, had his members struggling recently, he's been having a lot of spins. He's been like me in tier one. He 
you have one driver that he happens to spin every at least once every race, and that's mean to you on. Uh, Rafita's just hanging on the back there. On the softs, Rafita's at the back. I know Rafita's not the great, probably one of the weak slower drivers in this tier, but even on the softs, it should be two seconds that faster. Dane Planet has already picked up a decent time penalty. This is penalties, soldier. Penalties are going to be crucial this race. Absolutely crucial. Some people can be on 10, 12, like 9, 12 seconds possibly. And if you've got no penalties, that's half a pit stop you just gained, just from penalties. But it's been a collisions back here. Got a ghosting Alpha Tauri as they separate. I'm not sure what that's for. But we've already got a flashing red lights. Uh, I need to get all the things up, don't I? Be good. Can't leads away at 14.5. He's already within six, seven, he's already within a half a second of the lap times I was doing in my second stint on the Man of Hearts. He is flying. Uh, Maldi's in the pit lane. I think he must have damage. He does have damage. I think he maybe was in the, maybe Maldi did hack Moncho. Maldi's onto the mediums. It looks like he's going to transfer to a two stop now. Mediums and then go on the softs to the end of the race. Let's see if there's any weather changes. And there's a VSC. So it's a good time for Maldi to pit anyway, it gets a bit of a cheaper pit stop. So I'm not sure what that was for, whether that was for Maldi, I don't know. No, I didn't see anyone spin, I'll have a moment. Oh, Juan's out, I just realised, Juan's out. That was way a bit further behind Maldi, so I don't know where that was, where that happened. It's just a virtual, so release which is resume, no pit stops should happen to be only to pit for any tyre compound. So Camp continues to lead the way, got a nice gap to McKendo. James around following behind, but he's already picked up the penalty. And those mediums, he's going to be on the slower, hard tyres at the end of the race. Uh, it's not going to go well for him. Those tyres will be absolutely nothing nowhere when it comes to that second stint. The yeah, is enabled, which means the race is now resumed. It's now green flags for everyone around. Now. How is Fernando doing those softs, leading soft on it? There's only two of them at the moment. Not exactly uh, really got the pace the softs should really deliver. But the softs and memes, there's not a big gap between the two compounds, to be honest. But like I said, those softs do wear out a lot quicker. The softs are going to do about 10, the hards could do like 20. Uh, the medium to hard can last quite a bit longer than hard mediums, but not as dramatically compared to the mediums compared to the softs. But still, mediums is the best tyre to be on. You want to wear those mediums as long as you can. So you want to be picking early off those hards, get rid of them. Fernando up the inside of oh, FM Rainer. Fernando's going to hold around the outside. Fernando's got a corner causing penalty because of that. Now they're going to be battling all the way down into turn one. Actually, it's getting a bit of threat from his teammate for Kazari. <laughs> Fernando on the soft, failing to get past the red there. It's the penalty in the process. But that's expected because he's on the fresh air mediums in fresh air. Oh, and there's a collision. F on red and F on red and Fernando. It's been a collision. F on red will probably not be happy with that, but that F on, Fernando might see that as a bit of revenge. Uh, F on red's about breaks and stuff a little bit now. The Alpha Tower is going to side by side, but Fernando's got the better tyres. But their tyres are going to start falling off very quickly soon in the next couple of laps. Kazari is now got DRS, it's now going to fly or more glide by Kazari. So Fernando for Kazari on Fernando. That's another corner cut and he's bogged down. There's Fernando and exit. But Kazari's got DRS. So that's that battle done and dusted. 
couple of those tyres are going to start going off now. It's going to be a struggle to keep up with that medium running out. Matador and Amanch are in a bit of a battle there. Uh, going quite slow. Sand also included in this. Kalman's also picked up a penalty up. Now it's, it's now for Pilo 17. So the feet has picked it very early. Off those softs onto say our hards. Oh no, it's looking at the wrong car. It's looking at Maldi well us on the feeder. Very nice. But now it's considering it goes good lap times, which she needs to do on those memes, needs to maximize as much as you can out of those tires. Mel's using now where he's got it. Oh! And Fernando's had a moment. He's got he's ghosted, he's got grass in his tires, and almost happened there. Uh, does he have damage? Can it damage? Yeah, Fernando. Doesn't look like it looks like his fingers are probably intact. Visually. But I'm not sure what's happened there. Uh, it happened off my radar. Danger actually use very high gears around there. Sixth gear he uses around there. Very interesting to know. Callum is pulling away here. Not 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 very not massively. But he's pulling that gap. Maldi's continually sitting those lap times that he needs to do. So we can get down and when he hopefully by the time he catches these guys up, those hard runners are starting to struggle. I say pit, but that's another 13 laps yet. Oh and Takas is left. Disconnected from the session. Invite him back into the game. Yep, they're dangerous now in DRS again as my Nintendo, but nothing. Still playing. What's this ERS my Nintendo's got? He's got 95% ERS to play with. He is good. He can use that, and he can use that, otherwise, every time he hits 100, he's losing ERS constantly. Uh, AI sets to 65, obviously a bit lower for tier 3. Nothing too slow, but nothing that's going to give him an advantage. Obviously it's a bit difficult to judge the AI, because there's quite a wide range of, uh, of uh, pace around this. So it's, it's a good mid middle ground. Uh, and it's 75 for tier 2 and probably on 80 for tier 1. Make up for that pace, obviously the tier 2 and tier 1's quite close. Callum picks up another penalty, I swear that's at least his second if not even third penalty. If it's now it's time to get past Tekkers. <coughs> yes, DRS as well. <coughs> Puts his behind Tekkers. Rakendo gets the corner cut warning, that's going to give Callum some more breathing space. Danny Brand is now back in that battle. And since he's now got the same amount of penalties, the vice of the penalties to Shrek is. So I picked up another penalty as a voice break. Has got the US and Alphas as well. And you can see if Fernando's still going on his soft tyres, he's going to pit in the next lap or two. Uh, so the schedule goes lap those softs. Uh, it's optimal time to pit is after nine laps. As soon as you get off above from that, you lose too much time because the tyres have to wear out. If you lap one up early, you're losing the pace that you got from those soft tyres. Yep, that passer. Oh, that passer just breezed past Alpha Z down the straight. Nothing the Haas can do. That was a massive corner for a passer. Oh! And Mekendo's round! Mekendo is out of the Canadian Grand Prix, is what Mario would say. Out of the Canadian Grand Prix. He's lost four places from P2 down to P6. He's just come ahead as Fernando picks up another penalty. Can't be, he's going backwards and he's getting penalties. 
it's not good. And he's on the soft as well. And there's really struggling, even though he's on a two compound softer. Danger is going to struggle when he If it's his pace on the mediums, he's going to struggle on his hards. He should be, he should be theoretically about 10 seconds ahead of Callum by this point. But he's not. As soon as he fits down to those hards, he will drop 15 seconds. That's if the weather stays the same as oh, that is. Oh! And there's a fry in the barriers! That's Calamon's! He's in the barriers, he's obviously lost the rear end, or must not had some contact with somebody. And he's in the barriers. Has he got some end damage? Looks like it's all good. On his ends. Moncho. He's also got past him. Now he's not got him getting in this battle. He's not got he's got past Sant. Sant's trying to overtake Maldi. Maldi, do something about it, Maldi. Maldi's got the outside, he's got a break later. Now he's got a good line on the Ferrari, but nothing Maldi can do for the moment time being. But yeah, Maldi's weaving his way forward. Oh Maldi's had contact with the Ferrari, Maldi's He's, he's got how much more grip he has on those you know, fresher and medium tyres. These hards, like I said, these mediums have got a massive advantage compared to those hard ones. Never get mad. He is pace about pace wise quicker than quicker than these guys anyway. DRS from Audi. The Ferrari no longer has DRS. So the Ferrari was now into. Vulnerable land because now he's got DRS off the Aston Martin. Fernando's lost a position now to a hard runner. It's time for Fernando to come in. There's that soft tyre. I told you, those softs just do not work. They fall off too quickly and they just, yes, they have the pace advantage, but they just don't last long enough to gain advantage. They just do not. He has to pit now. He's not pitting, even though he's fallen off the cliff. And Danger Man is round. Danger Man, he span out of turn two. Has he got damage? I don't know. I don't think he does. I think he's all good. Yeah, back down to Maldi, he's made a move on Matador. He needs a move there, look like down the straight. A little bit of Maldi. He needs to get these through these places as, as efficiently as possible. Because I hope he disposes chaos. Probably before the chicane, before the hairpin. That would be a very good place. Just to get him out of the way if it's possible. Or oh, you could just dive onto here. No. Nah. I'm just going to assume something and hopefully do it. DRS for Maldi. He's going to make a move here. Maybe not. It's quite short straight. He's looking to use some DRS, but kind of worthless overtake mode, aren't they? Oh, he's messed up the chicane there. He's just hurting Maldi's lap times. DRS point is there. So Maldi will have DRS into the chicane. Carl's just chaos has outbreaked himself. Maldi's from Sweet Fruit. He's got the better tyres. Plus, Chaos has got dirt on his tyres as well. So, yeah. Maldi got off another place. Oh, there's a massive corner cut. Three seconds from Maldi. That was a massive corner cut there. Complete misjudgment of, of the William Shriver. Three seconds on to his name. So dry round and it's Calamons again. He seems to struggle with low speed corners, Calamons. Really does. Maybe it's time for him to put some traction control on. If he's doing it with medium traction control, then he's got some questioning to do. But I put the penalty. No way of flags! Sant is also around. Has there been a cl this collision between him and Calamons? I can only presume so because he's also gone very slow through that section. I think there's been a collision there. I don't think that was Sam's opinion himself, I think that was a collision. Now I'm going to say it now, that was a collision. Come on, I think she's going to lay him through here. With all due respect. This is the best thing to do, but the damage has already been done. Afita is ghosting. And since when did that happen? I 
Last seen 36 minutes ago. Don't know about that. That's, uh, who the hell is that? It's a lap behind, I just realised it's a whole lap behind. What the hell happened to Kraffita? And then the carry very late picks up onto the hards. Oh, he's always oh, he's, he's always on the Yuki Tsunoda. Kazawa, he's always on the Yuki Tsunoda, went straight on at the pit exit, completely out, broke himself. Luckily, Fernando doesn't do that, but here the blade pits up because he pitted at the same time as Kazaru. Kazaru, I think, was the other soft runner, but they both pitted at the same lap. I don't think Fernando took that into account. Nintendo's trying to find his way through after this spin. Trying to find it through F on red. So DRS and such stream and some ERS. Must have done it very early on. F red will try and fight it off. Nintendo, it's not going to have any of it. More yellow flags. Oh, look at that. It's Calamons again. I thought I was going to I only broke his front wing by doing that. Why did he do that? He, just, he literally just pretty much intentionally broke his front wing without actually trying to. And Chaos has had a moment at the last chicane. And safety car. Safety car here, and this is a race changer. This is a virtual. That's just a virtual, I think. It's just a virtual. Uh, so, uh, code red, code red, not code red. False alarm. That's it. False alarm. Yes, it was a very short for virtual safety car. That was very short. No, 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 no. I forgot to bring one else. It's false alarm. That was it. I knew it was there somewhere. I knew it was something to do with some sort of alarm or light. Just, it just took me a second there to realise what it was. <laughs> anyway, Dane Hunts, no making no 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 no, 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 no time, and he's got through the half drive of Alpha Z. Dane Hunts finally through this. Memes are still working after 15 laps. They work quite well too, about lap 18. So. We'll see. Moments in the pit. It's very early stop. The front wing change and the set of tyres. A set of mediums. It should maybe just about get to the end. There's also got an Alpine to come out of as well. That's the fleeter. His AI is just coming for a set of hards. Hmm, debatable. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't actually know. Is he, is he an AI? Is that, is that actually him? Because his tyres are in the of the. I think that's an AI. It is an AI. It is. It is, is it? I don't know. No, that is him. That's a feature. That is a feature in. But he's a lap down. So. Yeah. Callum, absolutely miles ahead. Danger Ant, continue going on those mediums. Maybe trying to stretch it onto a set of soft maybe. But it's getting cloudy here. It is getting cloudy. I can't, can't, I can't, I can't talk about that. That is, that is very heavy clouds coming in. Are we going to see some, some rain at the end? Are we going to see some rain? This could certainly spice some, spice it up. What we could do is, is the safety car as well. That was even more safety car, then ring, then chaos pits. Yes, that's what I want. So we need somebody to crash. I think Calamance is the best person in the house to do it. He's on a fresh air mediums now, so I'm not sure it's going to be the case. Hey, no, it's ghosted. I think it's because he's let down. Yeah, didn't even realise that. He's let down. Like quite on bait. Kalamon's feet is basically that for the second time, effectively. Sounds coming in the pits, he's got a set of mediums going into the race. Kalamon's at the first half of the race, a 13 7 7 1. 
Maldi on the back of Moncho, on the back of his teammate here. Maldi, is he making the move here? He's going to make sure he commits to it. Oh, Moncho's back tower, he's giving Maldi the place. Calamon picks him up. Another penalty, I'm pretty sure that's at least his four penalty now. But Maldi will place. Maldi picks up, up, he's got picks up the fastest up the race. He's faster than Calamon's. Very interesting. Leader here, Calamon is pulling away as usual. I think he's actually starting to slow down here. There's a few times called Tyler to pass her. Tekka still hasn't come in. Why do you want to create Monaco? Anyway, we'll continue on anyway. Memo, I think she's got past chaos, but. Even with the care about Mimo has no ash left, which is not helping him. He's got better tyres. Oh, and Chaos going to the pits anyway. <laughs> then they picks up another penalty. Not good. I think rain is coming, I think. It's, it's, it seems like it's sunny again. I don't know. But it's getting, it is cloudy in the waterfall. It was pretty much sunny at the start of this race, if not very like cloud. It's now it's missing clouds. Chaos still on the pits, come on, medium, just come out some P15. It's a long way back from for Fernando. Memo, just got past Math Door, but he's on a lot better tyres. Never known anyone used second gear if you ever thought, until now. Thank you, Math Door. Appreciate it. Oh, we've got some action here. We've got Kazari and Moncho. Kazari's on a lot better, a lot better tyres. Both much younger. It's going to go round the outside. It's been a collision. Ah, oh, and the Williams is round. And that's Moncho round. He tried to hold it off, and Kazari's having none of it. And he's round. Mate, Maldi's getting kind of get past us. But Tenno's just come out of the pit. Maldi's just come out. He's just come out just ahead of Maldi. That's how far Maldi is effectively pitted up behind. Mike Tendo, that rain is coming. If it is coming, then it might be a five laps or so. But 20, I don't know, just Maldi have to pay again though. Then 17 laps on his tyres now, that's uh, pushing their limits now. They can get up to lap 20, but after that, you're starting to look into the danger zone. But maybe you can use a bit of, uh, maybe you can use Mike Tendo to, as a bit of leverage to kick up his pace a little bit. Pazza's now in as well. But he only starts, I would have thought these guys probably, if it is, it's going to go raining soon. we will put the white stretch here, obviously. Coming for pits, but mediums are very quick tyre. Probably better to be on the soft tyre, to be honest, when it does start to rain. How do you have in very good juice? I thought DRS is falling behind the second. Obviously, McTendo's got a lot better tyres. He's 17 laps younger. Mount chosen the pits. So unfortunately, he span like that. He had a collision like that just before his pit stop. And it's, uh, you know what I mean? You think if we just pit a lap earlier, that would have never happened. It's one of those things. He's getting lapped, isn't he? Why are you attackers? Is he still on? He's in Green Monica.
Been off guy on Tekkers. They ain't doing anything for softs. They ain't going, he's done that strategy. He's gone from mediums to softs, which is what I thought you would do. It's a very long time on those media softs, though. 14 laps on those tyres. Pushing it. You really are pushing it with those tyres. And I'm already picked up the fire second time, please, for speeding the bit vein. Just to add some salt to that wound. Not been a good race for Maldo, it hasn't. A bit of collision has been Calamon's is round again at the chicane. He's in the grass. Another spin there for Calamon's, another front wing loss. It's going to be using Matador's front wing soon, if you're not careful. But yeah, fortune from Ardy there. District, DRS on Tekka or Tekka's again. Let's just keep that moving. Time. Alpha's made a move on Danger Man there. So DRS, he'll pull away from Danger Man. He's kind of on his hard in the pit lane. Right? But it is getting cloudy here. It is getting cloudy. Got 13 laps to go. Danger in the case, but it's done as quickly as possible because those tyres are going to fall off very quickly. But then we've done, it's going to get it done now. That's when the pets were saying mediums. Obviously, I think those tyres, those soft tyres will not go to the end. Still at the back of Alpha, but nothing being done. Danger's running, looks like he's running quite high wings compared to Alpha Z. It's just that Queen seems to have quite have a straight line speed. Yeah, so he's got DRS and he's not gaining anything at all, really. So, I think either Alpha Z is running low wings or Danger is running high wings, but either way, Danger is running high wings and Alpha. Not quite Danny standards back in tier two, where he was running, probably running about 40 wings or something. So that was, that was not booked on purpose. That was, I think that was, uh, he just didn't have time to adjust it. I think, I think Azari had a penalty there again. A lot of penalties being dished out here. There's lots of penalties going for some people. And we've got another, we've still got eight drivers without a penalty. Minus techers. Seven people, seven people with no penalties, and the other. 12 have got penalties. 10. 10 have got penalties. Obviously, got two cars are tired. Danger Ant. DRS getting a bit close this time. He hasn't got the ERS to play with, but Alpha Z, he's got 50%. He's not really fighting this, though. He's got the move done. I think he knows that he's on a, fa he's on a faster tyre at the moment. He knows those tyres are probably going to fall away, so he's letting it go for now, but those clouds are getting thicker. So if rain is coming, uh, he wants to be ahead of him when the fits up do happen for those intermediate tyres. And uh, that decision to change onto those tyres is going to be a big, big one. Not really much else happening across the whole track to be honest apart from this battle here F1 Red is ghost it is making his own little train here Sans should be getting the blue flags here it's gonna give Sans uh, sorry F1 Red some DRS oh and a collision oh and the ghost didn't happen and then F1 Red has round a uh, collision with Alpha Z and to be honest, I don't think Sand really helped though. He's really putting them off. Uh, so he should really let him through to 
stop the distractions, and I think there's enough to really put them off here. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was going to spice it up really, but now he's on 25 old hearts, trying to think, wait out into the rain period, and now he's 30 seconds behind, it's not going to help him at all. This is one fight with the leaders in the other collision, which wasn't probably wasn't his fault. Still trying to get past uh, Santa. It's finally getting through. Into the hairpin, very difficult hairpin this is. Go about the exit, it's dangerous man, unable to get the exit. Speak around the soft tyres, he's really struggling. Danger man, it's not been the greatest race for him in terms of pace. He doesn't rely on soft tyres to increase his pace. Sounds actually a good thing. Because now he's in. He's only done 12 laps in his yards. Is he going to softs maybe? I would have thought he would have stayed out to be honest. And wait, maybe he doesn't need something. The rain's coming. I think that might be the case. It's getting very cloudy now. It's almost, the sun's almost in now. Danger Ant is now struggling. His softs have already started to fall off here, I think. Stuff's already falling away. Good need to keep it ahead of Alpha Z. Alpha Z going wide, it's not going to help him down the straight, so it's going to help him with the fight with Danger Ant. Danger Ant's got a flash red light, he's got low on the RS here. District's going past Tekka's AI. He's the way on that P3, but penalties are going to be a big play here. I think, I think the Kimbo's got quite a few penalties. Tish Street got penalties, gets another penalty. Definitely not his first one. I'm pretty sure that's the Kazi. Kazi up the inside. Fresh offs got a massive jump on him there. Maldi picked up another penalty. I think Maldi's race has gone for he's been nowhere this race. There's a few unfortunate, a couple of fighting and dying penalties. Two contrasting penalties. Also has some damage on lap two. Not the greatest way for him, and there's been no safety card to recover from for any of these drivers. So it ain't been easy. This track's all wet there. Does just looks really dark. It's gone really, really dark here. Just the off-ball three just looks pitch black. The, 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 the ground does. The tarmac just looks really dark. Dark when it does on board. Oh, Mancho. Not how to exit a corner, mate. Like it's, hard, it's like these you know, drivers are struggling to really make a move. As soon as you get within DS range, you kind of struggle to find the actual opportunity to make the overtake. Danger and fixing on the penalty. Not going to help him in this battle here. Everyone's been on his tyres for 28 laps now. He's going to have to pit at some point, because if this ring's not going to come soon enough, he's going to have to pit onto his soft tyres to at least make use of two tyre compounds. Unless he, unless he pit lap one, that's the only other thing I can think of.
Nope, used to be on those tyres since lap one, isn't pitted yet. So, still need to make a pit stop. Still all saying out those tyres are getting very worn now, surely. Only real battle going on at the moment. Now for Z, he just, he just cannot get close enough. I would have thought Dangerous Tires is not to fall off at this point. But he just can't seem to get close enough. And if I know he picked up another penalty, Paz has also picked him up a penalty as well. And he's even P2. That's his first penalty of the race. And it's raining. There's the rain. There's the rain. And Fernando just picked up another penalty. What the, the hell's going on there? He just took a 10 second time penalty. He's couldn't have cut the last chicane. Was there been a collision here with somebody? Oh, Maldi almost collects him. But the rain is now falling, but it's very late. If you're going to pit for Inters, it's got to have to be this lap. Because if you don't, you're just not going to gain an advantage that you need to do. It needs to be very, very soon. The Inters means it's worked quite well in the dry, dry conditions for a few laps. So if you're going to pit for Inters, it's got to be now. <clears throat> So it's gonna make a break a race. This is it gonna is this gonna be another France maybe? Oh, he's always shooting for the hair. He looks slicky, he looks quite slick already. Just seems like they're going quite slow already. Seems like the rain's already taken effect. No one picking yet, the two Williams cars go through. So it's going to be a pit stop, it's got to be now. Callum's he's probably free to do that. If he, if he thinks these tyres won't go to the end on these conditions, then he's got the choice. He's got 7, 18 seconds to pass out here. He can pit, put a set of 90 metres on, and then just repass him again like it's nothing. Then you're going to gain like 3 or 4 seconds to pass him. Callum continues going. Pazza continues going. DRS disabled, there it is. But like I say, you've got to make the pit stop, it's got to be now. There's Danger Man, he's in the pits. Danger Man is made to jump. He's decided, I don't want these tyres anymore. I'm going to put on a slap on a set of intermediates. There it is, first car on seven intermediates here. He is the opposite of George Russell. He's going from slicks to inters. Not inters to slicks. Bethlehem is finally in. Should have picked it up earlier, not going to lie. One centimeter minutes. Can finally get rid of those hard tyres. Only drivers that only use one slick tyre compound. Sands also in, but it's not really doing anything in here. Distri's in. He's only at lap to put it with camera calendar this break. Uh, gotta be careful. There's many cars going for into me. It's now. Mahadi's also in. Mancho's in as well. Oh, he's lost a lot of time to Mancho, and that's why he's just slowing down. There, Mancho. Done. A bit of delayed pit stop. I think Maldi overshot his pit lane, I think. Oh, he's got a five second time penalty, of course. Oh, it's just. It just oh, and. Callum's got no front wing. Callum has got no front wing here. He's just going to the back of the Aston Martin. He's got a front wing change here. This could hurt his race. Pazza stays out. McKendo stays out. This is not good for Callum, but Callum doesn't have any penalties. He's only thinking rely on. He's got to hope these intermediates work now, which it should. And hopefully his penalties also come into play. So we're going to stay on Callum's here, see what the gap is to the leaders. Or actually, I'll say, you know, the effective leaders. So Callum comes out. These slick tires should really start to struggle now. Callum's going to gain 20 seconds on Pazza on track to get that within on track. Callum then picks up a three-second time penalty and that's not helping. Paz has only got three seconds himself. I don't know if Callum's going to win this race. He's got three laps to catch and pass Pazza. That's a tall order. Very tall order. But that gap's going to come down very quickly. But Callum's not exactly the greatest track to try and gain time in the wet. But he's already gained a couple of seconds already, and he's only been half a, half a lap. 
That gap's coming down all the time. He's got two laps after this to gain these places. Cesari's out. Is he crashed? No safety car. It's too late for safety car. Got a straight time to the barriers. What's going on there? Passes in. Passes in. He's decided he can't do it. He should have stayed out. He should have stayed out. He's his only way of winning. And he's lost it. That's Callum's life made it a lot easier now. But now where's he going to come out? Is Pazza going to come out ahead? It's going to come out side by side. Oh, and Pazza gets through. This is now a race. This is an actual race for the victory now. Callum has to get ahead of Pazza. It needs to be done now. He's going to come across here. Try and gain some speed. He needs to make the move done now while he's got the warm and his tyres are warm. He's going to make the move off the inside. The Red Bull's not giving any room. This is his first real action I've had to do all day. And Callum isn't able to find a way through. He needs to make his way through. He needs to. We've got a slow McTendo ahead of him. So this is going to be very crucial to see how he gets past McTendo. McTendo's struggling traction here. Oh, and they've touched. They have touched. And now Callum. Is he going to try and find a move? He needs to make the move. He has to. He has to do something here. He's going to, it's a very late move up the inside. And they've made contact again as they scrub. Contact to, to, to his body works, body work. And then Pazza's got the exit. But Pazza's got 70% of ERS to use. And Pazza's got nothing. Pazza's going to have this in the bag just purely because he has the ERS. But it's all right. doesn't even have any new ERS. It's all about who's better in these wet conditions. But Callum has not got the tyres to do it, and Pazza has got the ERS to play with. Callum, needs, if he's trying to find a way through, it's got to be down into a corner somewhere. He's not going to get it down a straight. He hasn't got the ERS to do it. He needs to get through a corner, pull some time, and hope he gets enough speed down those straights. But he needs to find a way through before this, before he hits the hairpin. Because as soon as he gets up the hairpin, he's not going to find a way through. Is he going to sit on the inside? No, he has to. Oh, he's... Oh, Pazza's kind of overshot it there. He needs to get a good exit if he needs to find a way through. But nah, Pazza's had covered. Pazza, Pazza, oh no. Mind for the middle penalty. Callum, his race is victory. He's been them commanding this race. But a, a costly front wing change has affected this whole race. He's got a good exit here. He needs it. That was a win this round. I think that's Estee Maldi. It is Estee Maldi. And his move is gone. And his win is out the window. He's not going to get it down the straight. Pazza has got. 48% battery here. Ah, it comes round! He's hit the wall! And Callum is going to lose on to Danger Man! And Danger Man will take second place if the penalties don't do much well. The Alpha Z is now behind McTendo. He's on mediums, but he's also not too far behind. He's actually going to be slow. Just be careful. But Callum's victory has just drifted away. He's got damage. He's got another penalty. He's got more front wing damage. Pazza wins! The Canadian Grand Prix out of nowhere. Danger and get second place. Callum will pick up P3 and Alpha gets up P2. What a well-deserved end to that race for Alpha Z with no penalties or lack of penalties either. Evermed picks up P5. Don't think any penalties. But Tindo will fall down to P7. After all that, he picked up a lot of penalties up just straight. He's going to lose a lot of places here because of penalties. Maldi finishes P13, Methodol P12, Sant finished P14, Rafito finished P15. And Sant picks up another penalty. Muncho will pick up P9, P8, sorry. Pateco's, oh, he's not in racing. He can, uh, he's not, he's going to come last. Chaos will pick up a point. Pateco hasn't been tested, he's been AI the whole time, so Chaos will pick up a point for his reputations for staying in this race. Last person to cross the line. Cam's a session. I, I, I was thinking of interviewing him, but I think I'd rather not. I think he needs to car down here. I think he needs to cool down. I think I'll lay off the interviews for him. I think he needs to have a moment to himself, I think. I don't think Alpha Z or we know so much English and I don't think Pazza has a mic. If they are, he doesn't know English himself. So I think we're going to call it off there. Pazza, enjoy the day. Uh, meh, yeah, pop, I could say so. I think Alpha Z's done pretty well himself.
I think I think if Chaos finishes race in one, I think he'll be driver of the day. He just commanded the whole race. I think okay, he probably still have the driver of the day. To be honest, he drove well. He had nothing wrong. I think I think he just I think it was Aston Martin that was lapped down, went slow into the pit lane. He got caught out. I think he lost his front wing. But Callum could have made. He, he, he lost. He, he took. He missed out on a lot of opportunities to find a way through there, and then he felt the pressure at the end because he left it too late. And that's what happens. Somebody like Pazza, who's very well, very very good on his ERS, and that's all he needs to take advantage of that. He can use it when he needs to. When you haven't got an ERS, you're 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 you're, 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 you're standing target. But Pazza is your race winner, well, provisional race winner anyway, but I think he will seek the win anyway. P from P11, great race for him. There, Alpha Z will pick up P2 in the end. And Callum will, after that, after two late penalties, will pick up P3. Danger and P4, not been the greatest race for him. He's been quite... Pace wasn't there today. Air from Red, P5. And I remember P6 gaining from some penalties and Memekindo in the end. He stayed on on the slicks. But Mancho, P8... Again, gain some penalties, just P9. Tekka's IEs and AIs, and Chaos P10. Mattel P11, Maldi P12, Fasance P13, Rafita P14. Uh, Kazu will be qualified P16 with the fastest laps, and no one will actually get the fastest lap. Fernando, Calamans, Aquan, what are you doing, Fs? That was your race today. Not uh, the, the, the middle of the race was a bit dead, not going to lie. It wasn't the greatest, nothing much happening, to be honest. It was just a bit of lack of battles, really. But the ending was definitely quite spicy. The start was a bit frightening, I guess. But I think apart from that, I think the race was okay. But it wasn't the best race in the world. Uh, we will end it off there. But we will be back next week as we return to the iconic and historic tracks of Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. So I'm, I'm presuming you do really don't want to miss that. So thank you very much for watching. This is Mafia in the com box, as usual for your tier three. Uh, we will be back at Monopromos at Britain for next week for tier one with Mildy back in the com box. See you then. Goodbye.